In this video we're going to do a quick recap of kinetic energy. I've made this video to be used with the mechanics section in NCA Level 1 Science and for use with these flashcards here which you can get a free copy of from sciencescribes.co.nz. Now kinetic energy technically by definition is the energy possessed by something which is in motion and if something is in motion it means that it must also have a velocity as well. Let's look at an example calculation involving a car. Now let's say this car has a mass of 900 kilograms and it's currently traveling with a velocity of 15 meters per second. If I wanted to calculate the kinetic energy of that vehicle right now, I simply use E equals half mv squared. My mass is 900 kilograms and my velocity is 15 meters per second. Convince yourself that you can put these numbers into the calculator and wind up with 101,250 joules, capital J, joules. That's the unit for energy, not the little j, capital J. Let's say in the exact same example, instead of a 900 kilogram car, I have an 1800 kilogram car that's also traveling at 15 meters per second. So I'm doubling the mass. If I then plug those numbers into the formula again, I end up with 202,500 joules. That's twice as big as before. So when I double the mass, I actually double the kinetic energy of something. Now in a different example, let's say instead of doubling the mass, we keep it the same at 900 kilograms in both cases, but this time I've got a velocity which has doubled. It's twice as big as before. If I then plug the numbers into the formula, I now see that my kinetic energy hasn't just doubled, it's actually quadrupled. 